Welcome to Art Is. Today we'll take you on a special journey to visit the Gianni Versace The Reinvention and Material Exhibition at the Contemporary Museum of Art in Miami, Florida. First, Art Is wanted to share with you the life of an amazing artist who strived to break all boundaries in search of creative freedom. Gianni Versace had an illustrious career filled with an uncontrollable desire for perfection which ultimately led to his overwhelming success. Unfortunately, Gianni Versace was murdered, leaving the world with only reminders of his creative genius. On today's show, we wanted to reflect and share with you the exhibition, Gianni Versace, The Reinvention of Materials. Today is a very special because this beautiful exhibition is opening here in Miami, the city that Gianni loved so much. This show is really a way to say thank you to all the people here. The people who gave my brother so much inspiration, so much passion, so much energy. It is a chance for Gianni to give something back to a community that he adopted as his second home. The Versace family would like to thank the Museum of Contemporary Art all his supporters, and especially Director Bonnie Clearwater for making this possible. Today, when you look at Janice's incredible collection, I would like you not to think of them as creation of the past, but more as inspiration for the future. This is especially true for me and the many young designers and artists who are here now today with us. As you can see from his work, Gianni was fearless. He was not afraid to take chances. He was not afraid to change. And I know if he were today here, he would tell all of you, do not be afraid to be great. Thank you very much. Uh, I met Gianni Versace in 1983 uh, because he saw an exhibition I had curated on Renaissance velvets because I'm really only a scholar of ancient silks. He liked so much the velvet and he, he made the right question, the one I'd asked myself years before when I decided to study textiles. He asked me why people would make a velvet like that. And that's how I began to look at his textiles because I understood that he had a deep knowledge of materials and that, like myself, he saw materials as an instrument to understand man because it would make no sense to study silks otherwise. So although I only study ancient textiles and I'm the curator of a museum that has ancient textiles at Fondazione Antonio Ratti in Como, I've done this, I made an exception. I studied his textiles from 1983 on. Uh, I made the first exhibition on Versace in 1989. And after he died, we thought we should have this exhibition in Como, which is a city where his first printed textiles and all his best were made just by Ratti, the Ratti firm, and where he bought his, his first home, a home he loved. And that's why it's here. Miami is the other city where he bought a home, the city he loved, a city that has his colors, his understanding of material in general, his sensuousness. Well, he would ask the textile industry to, to invent things that he wanted. He would explain what he wanted, and they actually would try to do it. They would come back with the result. Often it wasn't enough. They would have to redo it. And uh, he did that with woven textiles, printed, and most of all, with non-textiles. He was fascinated with inventing things that were not the result <coughs> of weaving. So metal, uh, leather, but of course he used leather as if it were textile, just as he used silk as if it were leather. So his involvement was one of demand, it was a demanding. He would ask for certain effects, certain uh, tactile and visual effects, and the makers would try to, to do it for him. Uh, we often had uh, strong encounters uh, he used to tell me that I, I saw things in the pieces that he never put there. I would answer, if I saw them, he had put them there. And we always fought on this. He, 
uh, that jacket over there, which is half in tweed and half in leather. I asked him why had he done that when nobody else was mixing the two, above all vertically. The mixing was often done horizontally. And he said, well, I wanted to make two things, and I got so tired I couldn't decide, I made one. Or the red dress with the pleats that is over there has become a, really a landmark in the history of fashion. I analyzed it as a mummy. I said, you have mummified woman, the woman body, and you have constricted it into this uh, mummy uh, type of um, um, enclosure. And he got very angry. He said, oh, not at all. That's the dress with the wrong pleats. That's freedom. Look, there isn't one pleat like the other. They go horizontally instead of vertically. It's freedom. And so I said, yeah, it's the freedom of a mummy. <laughs> and that's, this, this was the kind of relationship we had. Not as smooth. <laughs> uh, I'm verbal. He was not. He was visual. We were complimentary. We'll be right back to show you over 100 creations by Gianni Versace.